Right, in this video I'll teach you how to make your own crocodile clips. Um, well, you buy the clips. Um, I'll put the links down there in the video so you can find them easily from Amazon. And you have your own wires, you choose your wires whether you want it for <coughs> uh, higher current um, applications or lower current depending on what current you want to use them for what amperage, um, then you choose the size. Um, you can choose any size you want, you know, depending on what kind of job you're doing. Electronic usually is about uh, 0.5 or 1 uh, millimeter, uh, not more than the ball. If, if you want more than that, then you need to get bigger size crocodile clips or clips themselves. Now, <clears throat> when you buy them, usually with the wires, um, if if they already uh, they already have the leads, I'll show you how they are. This is how they are. This is the one I've got uh, with the wire attached to it, and they say that in the description as well. They are not soldered, and I highly recommend if you bought them with the wire, take them apart and resolder them or solder them because they're not soldered. And it, this, causes, this causes a lot of hassle, a lot of troubles, and sometimes you go around the circle to find the problem because you think there is a problem with your circuit, circuit or your system uh, where actually the problem is with your coconut clips because they're not joined properly. Now what they've done, if you look at this, I don't know if you can see it properly, all they've done is they've just basically folded it, stripped the wire, folded it, put it there and cramped it. And that's it. And sometimes they're not cramped right and sometimes you have intermittent connection. Uh, if I pull this out, that's what you do. You, because they're not soldered, you see how easily it comes off. Now you see how, how much they're stripped just a little tiny bit they're not even stripped properly some part of part of it is insulation part of it is stripped so you, what you have to do is strip it properly or cut it down a little bit and then strip it just enough so not too much not too little and twist it you keep the uh, the rubber insulation of the clips first in. You put that in the wire. If you are using new wires, you've only bought the clips, or you are re redoing the wires. You just do this first. The <coughs> strip the wire, put the insulation uh, rubber on the wire first, and then uh, I'm using in this uh, video this third hand just to help me better and put the wire well put the wire through this hole there is a hole there it just comes out and just hang it there uh, what I didn't show you I, I need to show you something else before I do this right once because they've clipped they press press that um, clip around the wire. You need to open that first with nice little long nose pliers. So when you actually sold it, after you soldered the wire and put the see so you put the wire after you twist it, you put the wire inside that hole in here, and you can crimp this now or later after you soldered it if you're not experienced do this after you've soldered it because it might not solder it properly and then you need you need to strip again uh, you need to open this again it'll be double work so I'll just put the wire in I crimped it crimped the, um, the end of the crocodile clip and then the wire has come out of here 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a little bit of flux, just a touch, not too much. My soldering iron is hot and this is my solder. You make sure both the crocodile clip and the wire gets touched by the tip of the soldering iron and put a little bit of solder on it. And you do this very quickly. If you want more, you put more to, 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 to fill the hole completely. And that's it. Uh, wait for it to cool down, blow it, and take it off the third hand. Now, I clip, uh, crimped the, the end of the clip around the wire already. If you haven't done that you need to do that so it doesn't pull out and then you put the insulation over it and again to do that you need to press the crocodile clip open the mouth and then put this over it and then that's it and you do the same with the other end take the insulation out to take the insulation out you do the reverse uh, process you open the clip because sometimes it's, you find you might you might find it difficult to <coughs> take this out open it put your hand or uh, a tool there uh, ply, the pair of pliers or something and then pull this out Very nicely then that's out but if you've got your own wire like I said you see this you can see the wire is hardly stripped and just the uh, a couple of strands left on it the the part that is actually stripped so I need to redo this cut it and strip it again like I said you don't strip too long you don't too much of this stripped wire to come out of that hole you just want enough <coughs> so again I'm using this third hand put the wire through the hole It's not coming out. Uh, let me get this out. Right. Uh, I forgot to undo this crimping. This end of the crocodile clip needs to be opened so the wire can sit there properly. And put the stripped part of the wire inside that hole. Let this hand hold it for you, and the wire is here then solder a little bit of flux and solder you have to make sure you make both the wire and the clip, the crocodile clip, hot, <coughs> not just the wire. And that's done. And this is a lot better than the ones that you that they are ready made, and you buy them like I showed you. They'll just come out easily, and sometimes they're not properly connected and they'll give you faults in your circuits or your testing um, of any equipment that you're using these crocodile clips for it'll give you faults and you'll be going around the circle for <laughs> to find the problem and you, you, you see the problem lies in the crocodile clip that you use to make things easier and that's it this and also 
covered and there you have it you have your crocodile clips ready thank you very much for watching i'll see you again with another electronic and electrical training video till then goodbye